Hey everyone, Vanessa here. I just wanted to come and say hi and tell you about a couple things that's been going on. First things first though, um, I want to let you know that um, I, w I am out of town for the week and I should be home by Sunday or early Monday. I have a couple readings I need to do on Monday and then after that I will resume the Zodiac readings for the month of April. Um, and then finish off the love readings for the ones that I haven't done yet. I'm really sorry, but you know, um, I have, uh, I have to work. <laughs> I have to do other stuff. So, um, honestly, I wish it was, you know, I was at the point where I didn't have to work and I could just do tarot readings. Um, that's ideal, but, uh, right now that's not, you know, an option for me. But anyway, um, I want to just let you guys know about that. And then, uh, secondly, I hope everybody had a lovely Easter holiday for all of those who celebrate Easter. Um, and if you don't, I hope you all had a good weekend and a half a week so far. And third thing is, a lot of crazy shit has been happening to me lately. Um, well, it's always been happening to me, but <laughs> I'm just, I have just been kind of like document, documenting it now. And um, that's what this charming life is about, is to show my experiences um, what I go through and, uh, about my abilities. And someone had mentioned, uh, I should do a video about how I got my abilities. Well, um, I, I want to do one. I promise it's in the works. I think I'm going to do it when I do my like introduction video or, you know, getting to know me video. But, um, right now I want to tell you guys like weird stuff happened to me re recently and, um, it was kind of like off putting, but I want to, I'm going to show you clips of what happened that I, had on my insta story so i'll um put that on it will it will play after this message to you guys um also numerology has been huge right now for me um i've been seeing so many sequences uh 111 11 11 222 444 um and 1234122121 um, and recently I just unlocked 777. So I know, like, I know it's something, I know it's deeper, there's a deeper meaning for me. Um, I've read all the articles about like the angel messages and stuff, and I know my angels are with me and trying to communicate and telling me something, but I just know it's deeper. There's something bigger going on. And, um, it's weird because when my tower moment back in August, I was seeing a lot of eights, eight, 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 oh, eight. And that was around the time. Well, I can't discuss it here, but something, you know, happened in my life, and um, it's just strange. And then my niece sent me a video or um, sent me a picture back from 2004, and it's a picture of me and my cousin, and we're pretty much going through the same thing right now. And on the picture, you know, it's from a disposable camera, so it's timestamped 444. If you follow me on Instagram, I uploaded it there. You can see it there. Um, and just a quick side note. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I do a lot more live readings on there. Well, I haven't done a live read on YouTube yet. I'm kind of not afraid, but like I'm kind of nervous about it. But I have, I do, I do them on Instagram. It's a little bit more intimate. So please follow me on Instagram if you're not. Um, you'll get, you know, cards of the day and stuff from me there, and you'll get to know me better, I guess, um, if you care. <laughs> and um, uh, what else? Oh, yes, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, but this numerology is really strange. Like, strange things been happening. I've been seeing bursts of light, um, little fireworks everywhere. Um, what else has been going on? The other night I woke up, I was, like, kind of in and out of sleep. And I don't know if this is just, you know, I was, like, partially... I wasn't even dreaming yet, but I don't know if I was, like, because I was still partially asleep. I don't know if it was just my eyes, you know, playing tricks on me. But um, when I woke up... I saw like literally like a grid. It was so weird. I don't know if 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 any of you have experienced this, please let me know. Let me know I'm not crazy. <laughs> um I, I saw like an actual grid. Like there was lines everywhere and like it looked like a graph. Um I don't know what I'm seeing, but anyway. Uh, that's about it. If you guys have any other insight on the numerology or if you sense something, please go ahead and comment. Only positive stuff, please. I'm not in the mood to deal with negative stuff. Um, so let's keep it light. Let's keep it positive. And without further ado, it's 444 on the recording just now. Holy crap. See, I'm telling you, it's like happening everywhere. Um, without further ado, I'm going to show you my weird shit that happened to me recently. Okay. I love you guys.
lighting up the sky. So my tarot cards just flew away in the wind, like about half of them. They were all over this driveway. I ran my ass all the way down <laughs> over there and all around wherever I could see one. The scary thing is though, the scary thing is though, the Ten of Swords was laying right there, right there in the middle of the street and a car was coming and I knew, so I stopped. But I, I don't know guys, like I'm freaked out right now. And there was no wind at all. That's why I felt comfortable enough to leave them out here. And I had stones on top of them to like, you know, put weight on them just in case. And I heard like shuffling papers. So I ran outside. So I ran outside and sure enough, they were blowing in the wind. <laughs> the scary thing is though, like I, I've, I went to um, my spiritual teacher and healer because I, I know that I have a dark earthbound force living outside my house. Well, not living, but just occupying the area, and I've done multiple things to protect myself from it and protect my household from it, and it's been great. But every time I go outside around that area where it resides, shit happens. So it knows that I'm a light worker. It knows that I'm from source and fight evil and fight darkness to help others. And I think it doesn't want me doing that, especially to lay the Ten of Swords out in the middle of the road. That's dark as fuck, and that's messed up. This is the Ten of Swords. This is betrayal. This is endings. This is thoughts. This is actions. This is the, this is the end, you know? Um, like, this person has been backstabbed over and over again. So why would this card be laying in the middle of the street by my house that was flown off my deck where we've seen this, whatever it is, on my deck? Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why... So, I'm definitely going to have to do some cleansing ritual tonight. Um, if you are a light worker as well, can you, or just do you want to pray for me, that'd be great. I'd really appreciate it. Look, there's a hawk. Can you see it? It's coming. There it is. Look at, look at that. Beautiful. I know I'm protected. That's, that's the thing. Like, I'm protected by my ancestors. I'm protected by my spirit guides. And Archangel Michael comes, protects me. He hangs out. He's cool. <laughs> like, wow. This is crazy. And I would love to say, you know what, let's just take it at face value. It was just wind. It was just wind, but I know too much. <laughs> and with the Ten of Swords laying out in the middle of the street like that, with my, and it was going the direction where my back would be turned again, um, away from traffic. So that, and it's pretty shitty, but um, a client had a dream about me a couple days ago saying that I died in a car accident, or not died, but I got in a car accident, which is pretty shitty. And my sister just told me she had a dream about me last night, that something bad happened, and it's just like, what the hell is going on? And whether you want to believe it or not, whatever your beliefs are, that's fine. But I know what's happening is real in my life. Whatever is out there that is dark knows that I'm fighting against it and working against it. And I don't think they like it. But you know what? Fuck them. I'm, I'm the light. And light always wins over darkness. Every motherfucking time. Always. So yeah. So I'm not worried and I'm not scared. And I'm protected. So there. <laughs> so I'm about to do a reading. And I count all my decks, all my cards. They're all there except for one from the white, red away tarot. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I had to run all the way up the street. I saw it, I found it, and it was a little fortune in the upright. That's a good sign, you guys. It's a really good sign. That's good karma. That's good energy. That's good luck. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Gaia. Thank you, Buddha. Thank you, whoever. <laughs> I'm really excited. I could, I'm, 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 I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm good. Well, so that's my story of what happened to me um, last weekend. So anyway, um, thank you again for taking the time to watch my videos. And thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for liking my videos. You guys mean the world to me. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will put a, um, what's it called? I'll put my handle down in the uh, description box below. All right, so that's it for now, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. Love you. Bye-bye.